Hi everyone, my name is Kinya Ota. I have spent more than 10 years studying goldfish evolution and development. Recently, my friend asked me to make a detailed video about goldfish developmental evolutionary biology. So I have decided to produce this video series based on my papers and my book. We will explore goldfish evo devo. As you have seen in previous videos, goldfish eggs have the property of sticking to other things. While this property can be useful for our experiment, it can sometimes be problematic. Therefore, in our laboratory, we use various tools and reagents to solve the problem and make it possible to observe embryonic development. Healthy fertilized goldfish eggs are transparent and embryonic development progress is smoothly and hatched. However, some eggs die on the way. This whitish egg is a dead egg. Leaving these eggs for a long time can cause bacteria and fungus to grow. In that case, healthy eggs will die due to the bad water quality and fungus infection, so we have to remove them immediately. At that time, I used this tungsten loop to remove dead eggs from the dish. This dish is coated by green tea, so the goldfish eggs do not stick so strongly, and you bring the tungsten wire between the eggs and the dish, and move it slowly like this. The egg will come off the dish. This tungsten loop can also be used for live fertilized eggs. If you want to see the embryo in the middle of development at a different angle, hold the tungsten loop between the dish and the egg and pull it slowly as before to peel it off. If you want to know how to make the tungsten loop, please let me know, I will explain in the near future video. The fertilized eggs has been removed from the dish, but it is difficult to see the inside as it is. So I really want to remove the egg membrane. One of the easy ways is just simply physically removing the egg membrane. I simply use a sharp forceps to concentrate and remove the egg membrane. Sharpen well and pinch only the egg membrane with forceps to break apart. Then the egg membrane is removed like this. However, with this method, it takes a very long time to remove the egg membrane of many fertilized eggs. Therefore, when you want to process a lot of fertilized eggs, use the enzyme PRONES. Yes, this is a good method, but uh, this method using PRONES is not our own idea. This method is originally used by zebrafish research community. Zebrafish is a very small fish native to India that is strong and often found in tropical aquarium fish stores. Unlike goldfish, if you keep them well, you can get eggs whenever you like. Eggs are also very transparent and do not have the property of sticking to each other, making them suitable for embryological research. Therefore, there are many researchers who are doing research using this animal and the new technologies will be developed by researchers. Also, goldfish and zebrafish belong to the same carp family, so they have a lot in common. In that case, there are many technologies that can be used as they are, so we often refer to the zebrafish experimental method. This prones is purchased in powder form in our laboratory and used by dissolving in E3 buffer. The composition of this E3 buffer is like this. Next, use the tungsten loop to remove the egg from the plastic dish and transfer them to a small plastic dish coated with 0.5% angelos gel. The angelos gel provides a gentle surface for handling the goldfish eggs. Add prones and wait for a sufficient time, typically 5 to 10 minutes, depending on the condition of the eggs. Observe under the microscope to determine the optimal condition. 
The egg membrane will gradually dissolve. When part of the egg membrane has dissolved and the embryo begins to appear, transfer the egg to another dish. This dish contains an E3 buffer without pronase to prevent pronase activity. Next, gently pipette the E3 buffer to mechanically remove the egg membrane. If eggs are in this E3 buffer, the embryo will develop properly and observation can continue. Place them on a watch glass for easy observation. The watch glass has a hollow center allowing embryo to gather in the middle. Uh, this makes it easier to photograph a large number of embryos under the microscope. We can now take a closer look at the process of goldfish embryogenesis. Using these methods, our laboratory has published two papers describing embryonic developmental process of goldfish in 2013 and 2019. We have used the photos used in these papers many times in this video series. These papers contain many goldfish embryos that we did our best to take, and these papers are free to use by anyone under Creative Commons. So, if any of you are interested in learning more about the process of embryogenesis and how to observe goldfish embryos, please refer to these papers. Next time I will explain how to observe hatched larvae. I will explain how to observe the goldfish after hatching until they grow up. It is time to say goodbye. I hope you learning something new about goldfish development and evolution from this episode. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel to catch the next episode. See you soon!